In this video, you'll see how to provision and customize accounts using AWS Control Tower Account Factory for Terraform, or AFT. With this solution, you can use Terraform to submit multiple account requests at once, customize accounts with guardrails, and apply global customizations to both new and existing accounts. Terraform by HashiCorp is an infrastructure as code tool similar to AWS CloudFormation that allows you to create, update, and version your Amazon Web Services infrastructure. To create an account using the Account Factory for Terraform, let's begin by taking a look at the Example Account Request Terraform, or TF, file. This file shows how to create a Sandbox account. It provides the required fields and sample values. For the purposes of this example, our environment already has some Sandbox accounts in it. Let's take a look. Here are our Sandbox accounts. Next, we'll create some development accounts. With the AFT solution, you can place a request for multiple accounts. We'll demonstrate that by copying this module and using it as the basis for another account. Let's modify this code to create a second account, account 02. We'll change the module name and account name and account email. The SSO user email can be recycled. Before submitting the account request, let's customize the accounts using AFT Global Customizations. A global customization is code that runs on every account that is created as part of AFT through the account request process. We'll be creating a simple Terraform file called S3 Public Block. This resource blocks both public access control lists, or ACLs, and public policies. By placing the Terraform in our Global Customizations folder, we ensure that any time an account is requested and created, a global customization will run, and this particular resource will be created in the account. Now that the files have been placed here, the next step is to place them into Git. First, let's push our AFT global customizations. We'll add the Terraform S3 public block file. Next, we'll push it to the repository. Now that it's pushed, let's do the same for the account request. In the account request folder, We'll do a git add for the development accounts, followed by a commit and a push. Account creation takes the same amount of time here as it does natively in Account Factory. Let's wait for creation to occur, then log into our Control Tower management account. Let's go to Service Catalog to find the accounts we created. Here we can see the pre existing sandbox accounts, as well as the new accounts we submitted. Let's drill down into one of them. In the first development account, we can see that the account number ends in 2073. Let's find the corresponding pipeline in the AFT management account. Here's the pipeline ending in 2073. As you can see, this pipeline is successfully sourced from the Global Customizations repository. The pipeline has gone through the Global Customization steps. Let's drill down into the step labeled Apply Terraform. We can view the generated TF code in this build log. Notice that the aftproviders.tf file has been generated with the proper ARNs. The backend.tf file has also been generated. This has been submitted to Terraform Cloud for a workspace run. Let's find it there. Here's the corresponding workspace, which ends in 2073. Let's find the current run. As you can see, the run contains a plan for the global access block. We also had an apply, which successfully created that block. Let's log into that development account. From the account, we'll navigate to Amazon S3 to make sure the block is in place. In the public access settings, we can see that the Terraform block has taken place. Let's go back and check one of the Sandbox accounts that already existed when we created the global customizations. Notice that the public access block has not taken effect because this was a pre-existing account. To make the global customizations apply here as well, 
We'll need to go back to the AFT management account. Let's take a look at the step functions. Here we have a state machine called aft invoke customizations. Let's execute this state machine. Here we'll define which accounts to include or exclude when re invoking the global customization. On the include side, we can include all accounts created by AFT. Accounts in specific organizational units, or OUs, accounts that match specific tags, or accounts that match specific account numbers. We can similarly exclude accounts based on these same criteria. So, for example, we could include all accounts minus those that reside in the Sandbox OU. For our purposes, however, we do want to include the Sandbox accounts, so let's remove the exclude statements. We'll specifically target OUs called Sandbox for inclusion. Let's start the execution. The flow will look at the existing executions. If none are executing, it will proceed to execute customizations from all accounts in the Sandbox OUs. The step function has now succeeded. Let's go to the code pipeline. The pipeline for the Sandbox account we looked at earlier, which ends in 9382, last executed just now and is in a succeeded state. Let's find the corresponding workspace in Terraform Cloud. As you can see, the last change was applied two minutes ago. Let's look at the current run. We now see the same result that we saw earlier with the development account. We now have a successful apply of this global block. Let's check S3 from the Sandbox account to confirm that the block was applied. Notice that both of the block settings that were turned on in the development account are now turned on here. You've just seen how to provision and customize accounts using AWS Control Tower Account Factory for Terraform. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.